The role of the performing rights organization is to ensure that performance rights are being adhered to and to collect performance income in that particular country. However, songs, and thus the revenue created by those songs, is borderless. So if your song is registered in the United States with, say, BMI, and it is performed on the radio in the UK, how do you get your money from there? Well, that is where the foreign performance royalties come in. Each performing rights organization has agreements with the other pros around the world. So if you are a BMI affiliate and your music is played in Japan, then Jazzrack, which is the pro in Japan, will have, hopefully, picked up on this in their surveys and censuses and pass this performance information and the performance royalty money back to BMI. Of course, even as most pros are listed as nonprofit organizations, there is an area of around 15% that is held by the pro for operating costs. These expenses include lights, water, buildings, real estate, staffing, advances to lure big name artists to switch pros, industry parties, and other fun expenses. Of course, these expenses also include court fees for going after venues and broadcasters who do not pay their share of the performing license. But I digress. So in this case, Jazzrack would have held their 10 to 15%, and then BMI would charge a 4% administrative fee for their part of the service. So essentially, you were dipped twice, since now there are two companies between the user of your song and you. If your song truly earned $10,000 of performance royalties in Japan, you would probably end up getting around $8,100 or so. But the big drag is the time delay. Given that international royalties are paid between the pros every six months, remember what I said about floating the money for interest, and then there is the typical three to seven month delay from the pro itself. Accredited performance in another country could possibly take a year and a half for you to earn any money. But there is another way. You could carve out your publishing for the individual countries or territories and sign up directly with them as a writer or publisher. This would give you a local affiliate, which makes payments a little bit quicker, and it eliminates one of the pro middlemen as the secondary delay cause. Thus, you could have your performance royalties in Japan in three to six months instead of a year and a half. You can see this happening recently with the band Rush, a member of SOCAN, which is the Canadian Performing Rights Organization. They recently signed on with CSAC as their Performing Rights Organization's affiliate in the United States. Thus, Rush carved out the performing rights for the United States. This, I'm sure, didn't make SOCAN happy, as they now lose their administrative fee that would be imposed on that band's probably very impressive foreign performance income coming from the United States. You can potentially do it too, but if you are already signed up with a performing rights organization, it will be difficult, as the pro you are currently a member of doesn't want this to happen because they won't get to charge an administrative fee for your foreign royalties, and that means less income for them. Now just realize that you may and probably will have to pay for each of the performing rights organizations that you join around the globe. And if you are joining as a publisher as well, I promise you it won't be cheap.